cheese, which is the soy cheese, you, you could fool people. They wouldn't know you weren't using regular cheese. Amy's frozen burritos or veggie pockets. Veggie wraps, which is just like getting a big burrito. I like to put hummus on it and put various things that you have in there. Roll it up, even peanut butter and jelly. And for lunches, I really like to use wax paper for the kids' lunches, too. If you're a plastic baggy person, try wax paper. I like that. Dinners, crockpot veggie stew, bean enchiladas or burritos. I like to make homemade guacamole, and we do Mexican quite a bit. Pizza night. Uh, we really like these cornmeal crust pizzas. And you can get spelt pizza crust, a lot of different pizza crusts out there that are healthy. Put on some soy cheese, or I just like mine even without any cheese at all. In fact, my favorite kind of pizza is a deep dish with no cheese. Ask for spinach, mushroom, and green olive. It's awesome. Carol's goulash, that's just kind of a, a mixture of egg noodles and all kinds of veggies with, I'll put this on my website so you can find it. The New York Good Witches that we eat is kind of a veggie pita sandwich, which we just really like. We do spaghetti with spelt noodles or quinoa noodles. And then once a week, we usually order Chinese food. Mushu, uh, fried rice with no egg, family bean curd, veggie almond din, all that good stuff. You know, using this has just really helped me a lot. And then what you do after you make a weekly list is make the grocery list that corresponds and make a bunch of copies. Then you throw these in a drawer and come shopping day, you're not starting from scratch. It also is helpful if you can organize your grocery list in the order of the grocery store. A little helpful tip. I get bored with the same recipes all the time, so I like to try new recipes, and I like to write in my cookbooks. After all, they are mine. After we tried this recipe, I wrote really good comfort food. JT ate all of it, loved it. Jackson gave it a maybe. I think kids need to try things a few times, too, before they can really decide, you know? And I like to get them involved. Give them two or three healthy choices, Make them feel part of the process. Also, have them help you in the kitchen. My kids really like to help certain times in the kitchen, especially running the food processor. My two-year-old can do it. And the hand blender, making soups, they love that stuff. And it will really help you out too. Try it. A few extra bonuses to eating this way is that you won't have to worry about cutting boards. E. coli, salmonella in your kitchen, thing of the past. And cleanup can be a lot easier without that gooey cheese. Next, we're going to go to some restaurants so I can show you like typical things I eat. You're going to see the biggest burrito you've ever seen. And you'll also find out that people are very accommodating at restaurants. Let's take a look. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. May I please have a bowl of fresh fruit and some granola with bananas? Instead of milk or cream, I just want apple juice. Okay. And then oatmeal with uh, cinnamon apples on top. Some dry toast. Haven potatoes. I see you have a lox plate. Can you do that without the lox? And instead of the cream cheese, do hummus? Okay. And then would your chef be able to make me a vegetarian omelet without the egg? Sure. With uh, salsa on the side? Sure. And then I think I would just like a fresh fruit bowl, large grapefruit juice, and hot tea. That's it. Thanks. I'm really hungry. Yummy. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I really ordered a lot, didn't I? I am hungry. Oh, yum. Mm. Wow. One of the things I always have with me is, is a package of stevia, or a packet of stevia, stevia. It's a plant-based sweetener, and you get it at the health food store. I just need a little bit. It's very strong, so a whole packet is too much. But you just pour it at the bottom of your cup, a little bit, and pour in your tea or your decaffeinated coffee, and it's a great, great substitute for sugar. Here you go. Mm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 
You were hungry. I am. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Here we are in front of Baja Grill in beautiful Holland, Michigan. Restaurants like these are popping up all over America. Places where you can walk in or even drive through and get a fast, healthy Mexican meal. Come on in and I'll show you what I like to get. Here at Braja Grill, they make everything fresh. They don't use butter. I love this place. I can eat burritos all the time. Hi, how you doing? Good, how you doing? What can I get for you today? I'm going to have my usual, a veggie burrito. You like lighter brown rice? I want brown rice, and I'm really glad you guys have brown rice because it's more nutritious. That's right. Would you like black beans or pinto beans? I'll do just some, maybe a little bit of both. your romaine lettuce and the tomato. Sure, I'll take a little bit of jalapeno and some black olives as well. Yes, guacamole, please. All right, guacamole. Woo. Yes, cilantro. And do you have some medium salsa? I do. I have a fire roasted tomato and a green verde. I'll, tomatillo. I'll try the tomatillo green verde. That looks good. Can I get anything else today? That'll be it. Thank you. I got all my favorite stuff in here. I had brown rice, which I'm really happy they have. I got two kinds of beans, black beans and pinto beans. I got a combination of onions, green peppers, and they have zucchini here, really yummy. I have pico de gallo in here, which is a combination of tomatoes, onions, and cilantro, a little lime juice, the romaine lettuce, and guacamole, plus some jalapenos and black olives. Yum. Mm. Oh, this is good, fast food. out a lot and even if it's not a vegetarian friendly restaurant I always find something to eat. I usually just look at all the ingredients on the menu, ask if they can bring something from here over to there, make me something special or just eliminate a few ingredients. Works out great. It's really not that hard. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Oh good, thanks. Good, well my name is Sandy and I'm going to be taking care of you tonight. Okay. Could I start you out with an um, appetizer? That'd be great. I'll have a drink, I'll have a Half club soda, half cranberry juice with lime, please. Okay. And for an appetizer, could you make this antipasto without the salami or cheese and do more olives and vegetables? Sure. Okay, great. I'll have a large bowl of the minestrone. Okay. Is that a meat-based soup? No, it's not. Okay, great. And just no cheese either. No okay. cheese. Mm -hmm. And I'll just okay. start with that. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Oh, great. That looks great. It's beautiful, isn't it? Here's yes. some bread. Now, did you want any olive oil? No, thank you. Okay. I don't. Olive okay. oil is 100% fat. It'll go right to my thighs. No thanks. We don't want that. Uh-uh. Okay. Enjoy. This minestrone is delicious. It has all kinds of veggies in it, carrots, celery, zucchini, little pasta, and cannellini beans, which are white kidney beans. They're really good. A lot of seasonings in this, which make it taste delicious without all the extra salt. And look at this antipasto platter, it's gorgeous. This antipasto they made with artichoke hearts, marinated red peppers, kalamata olives, green, on green olives, carrots, pepperoncini tomatoes, and marinated portobello mushrooms. This looks fabulous. And this is my cranberry juice with club soda, lime, 
you know, lemon, lime, a little sweetener in there. Sometimes I add my sweetener packet too to make it a little more.